Hi, everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And this week's Die Shorts, I'm actually coming live with you um, today instead of um, being over in the chat like I usually am. So fingers crossed everything goes okay. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So thank you for joining me. Um, I go um, live on Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. So today is a dies short. So I try to keep it um, pretty short, and I hope that is the case today. So um, I'm going to, um, let's see who all is here. If, if, I, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the chat, and I'll try to keep my eye on that. Um, sometimes I get so focused on what I'm doing that I forget to look up. So um, just make sure if I do miss it and it scrolls up, please make sure you ask it again. If you um, want to participate in the chat, you have to be logged into um, your Google or your YouTube account in order to do that. Um, if you're watching on your smart TV, which I do a lot, um, I don't believe you can do the chat maybe down the road to be able to, but you can give me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel so i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel let me get my armrests out of the way all right so i'm going to turn the camera close your eyes for a second while i get situated here pretty quick all right so i'm going to do a couple cute calendars and i know i've done um several different sizes before the ones i'm going to do today i don't think i've ever done these sizes so i have done this size before so i'm down to the last month on this one and this is the same size it just goes the other direction <clears throat> so that one's already um for january this one was a new size that i did recently and this is actually one that you can um, earn if you order 75 um, in the month of December. And I know I have showed this before, but just in case you are new, if you order 75 before tax and shipping in my store, you can earn goodies or guts each month. Um, if you want both, you um, if you order 150, you earn both. So the goodies are the flat adhesive backed pearls. And then I send these to you. These aren't something that Stampin' Up! is doing. This is something that I personally am doing. So I will send them to you later. And then um, and then the, the guts are supplies to make three projects. So it's basically like a free class in the mail. So you'll make the cute little no calendar. Nothing is stamped. You'll have to um, use what you have at home or order that stamp set. There's this card here, which is super pretty. And then this cute one here. So again, nothing is stamped. Now this one, this right here is DSP. So you'll get that little bird. You're, all the birds are an assortment. So your bird might be different than that one. So again, that's the month of December. So you only have uh, one more day, one more day. And if you are ordering, make sure you please use this host code and that will um, loop all the orders together. And that affords me to be able to um, send goodies and guts each month. And today is also the last day to register. I have two spots left. Um, I need to check emails. I see um, I do have a couple emails. But um, last I looked, I only had two spots left. Um, last day to register for a virtual spring social. Okay. So let's get to the fun part instead of all my blabbing. Um, so hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. And um. So this is the stuff that I'm going to be using today. So we're going to use the conversation bubbles. Hey, Anna's here too, and Candy and Carol and Louise and Sharon and Honeybee and Donna and Linda and Laura and Gloria and Rhonda. And, and we have two Lindas and I don't want to say too many names because some people don't like that. Okay. We're also going to use this silly goose, which is a new one. And playing in the rain now i'm just going to be using the dsp which i'm going to show you in a second and the dies i didn't use any of the stamp sets um from that and then here's a few of the dies i'm using so playing in the rain um the conversation bubbles which goes with the stamp set same with the playing in the rain goes with that and stylish shapes now if you've been um stamping for any length of time one thing i'd like to bring to your attention is now 
Our dies have the same name as a stamp set. I am so excited that that is happening because it is so confusing when the, the die was a different name. Um, so that's super cool. Also, some of the stamp sets and the new mini, you can pick cling, which is the a red rubber, which is the red rubber, or you can pick photopolymer. And I and of course I don't have a photopolymer here on my desk. But anyway, so you can choose um, cling or photopolymer, and I love that. So make sure if you like that, make sure you holler at Stampin' Up and let them know that you. Oh, here's a here's photopolymer. This is actually the Friendly Gnomes. This is my class in the mail kit for January. So this is a photopolymer. So some of the stamp sets you can choose cling or photopolymer. I love it. Because sometimes I want cling and sometimes I want photopolymer. And since we make make them, I always was like, well, why can't we do both? All right. So I'm also today <clears throat> going to be using the Playing in the Rain DSP. And oh, that's Delicate Desert. I'm not using that one. So Playing in the Rain. I'm also going to be using the Day at the Farm DSP. I also love that, Rhonda. It is less confusing. It does not take much to confuse me. All right, so I'm just sticking all that stuff behind me so that it doesn't get in the way. All right, so to speed things up, I also stamped everything just to kind of keep this as a short. So let's do our first little calendar. Now, this is a different shape than I've done as well because these can be any shape at all, really. And I love making these this time of year. They, these are cute and fun to, um, to hand out to people. They're, they're super, super easy to make. It's basically like a card that stands up. Now I get these little calendars. I have people ask me every time I show the calendars, I get these from vippies.com and that's V-I-P-P-I-E-S.com. Let me see if I can type while this is going on. Let me see if I don't, I don't want to mess it up. Fippies.com. All right. So I just typed it into the thing. That's where I get my calendars. And these are size of medium. They have other sizes, but um, this is the size I get because it just kind of works with any of the sizes of the cards. All right. So this right here, so this is a different one. And this one is going to stand up. So similar to how this one was, it's skinnier and taller. So this one is, when you fold it, it's six by three and a quarter. So this started out as a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then I just scored it in half. And then I wanted it to be, you know, three and a quarter inch. And then that's what I cut it. And then this right here is what you're going to use to make your little easel. And I always make them to be four inches by however wide it is. So that's just my go-to size. So it's four inches. And then it's the same as this. So three and a quarter. And then I always generally score it at two inch. So you go half inch and then two inch and then three and a half. And that makes your little easel thing. And then I just score with my foam folder. And I'm gonna go fairly quick today to keep it, hey, Brenton, to keep it, um, oh, Sharon. Now, Cassie Grand, I think that's a little ways away. Um, but we're having some wet, wet weather again in Arizona. All right, so now all I did was I used my green tip glue. This is just our multi, Tombow Multi. I just put it in this little container here. Um, so I'm just making sure that my bottom edges, you know, follow along here. And I've put these together several times. And you could always make your bases and then just design your cards and stick on. You just got to know which... Um, where they go up to go what horizontal or vertically and this one is going to stand up so here's on the side so that's how tall it is so basically this is what that made so it will stand up and it will also lay flat to mail 
All right, then this is some of that DSP that I was showing you, that um, rainy day DSP. I love it. It's got your daisies here and your little bit of clouds. I used this DSP the other day. We're also using it in my um, gnome class. So if you have not signed up for my friendly gnomes class in the mail kit for January, please do so. I'm about half of the way full. Uh, I just try to do only so many, so many a month, just so that I don't um, overextend myself. Okay, so then we also have, these are the cute little, um, these came from the DSP. So there's a die that cuts this out and you can see it's embossed. So see that turtle shell shine? So the, the die cut him out. Now this, I just cut out with my paper snips. I like the little flower there. And then the hello came from that conversation um, bundle. So we're gonna put our cute little things on with some dimensionals. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying to watch up there. All right. So it's been two weeks now since Jeff retired and we're still enjoying, enjoying that. I always have to tease him because he'll he'll come in here and he'll be like, "What are you doing?" or whatever, you know. And I'm and then, um, you know, sometimes he'll need something or whatever. And then I'll tease him and I'll go, "Um, honey, I'm not retired. You are retired." So I just have to tease him. But it it has been fun. Okay, so we have our cute little turtle. So I'm just gonna put him over here. And since his face is like this, I put him here so it doesn't look like he's walking off. And then we're going to put these little flowers here. Hey, Judy. Now, this, I actually, um, these are from the DSP. All right. So I just cut out the DSP. So there's those cute little flowers. And then, now I did stamp this. So like I said, I'm trying to keep the dies shorts to dies shorts. So I did my stamping and die cutting ahead of time. I will color the, uh, the next one we're gonna do with the goose so you can see them, but isn't that fun? All right, and then we're just gonna put our calendar up here. Now it does have a pull strip, but I always like to add a little bit of seal on the bottom and then peel that off and then just try to make it be straight. Okay, so there's that. All right, so let me show you the one I did earlier just so you can see. Thanks, Carol. So see how cute? So I did one with the bunny and one with the turtle, but it's basically the same. So there's the first one. All right, now the second calendar is going to be um, a different shape too. So we're also going to use the loose daisy. Now the loose daisy embellishments, you're going to get a full pack of these if you sign up for the gnome class. So keep that in mind. And they are actually part of the rainy day. Like, so I could have actually, you know, added some, you know, little flowers on there too, if I wanted. All right. So, but I'm going to use those on the next one. So these are the things I need for the next one. And I'll tell you the dimensions. So this is a long one. So this would be like a slim line um, calendar. So it's going to go horizontally. And so it's the same thing. So it is an eight and a, eight and a half. So eight and a half. So it's the full size of the cardstock. And then four inch. So that's, you know, your whatever this is. What do I call this? An easel. Same thing. I just, I scored it the same. Two inches and a half inch on each side. And then we just score. So we have mountain valley, mountain valley, or valley mountain, whatever. Okay. Now this started out as, so this is seven and a half by eight and a half, all right? And then I just scored it at three and three quarter. 
for our score, but we're gonna glue it the same way. Thanks, Linda. I mean, these are, I mean, I could sit and make these all day long. So hopefully you're not going, oh, I've seen you make calendars already. I don't wanna see that again. Um, all right. Now, the longer they get, the more you, you need almost two more fingers. But they're just so much fun because you can basically turn any card into an easel card. You just want to make sure if you're going to make it be a calendar, you save room for your calendar. But it doesn't mean you have to put a calendar on it. You could simply make an easel card and it just be a card so that it stands up and doesn't fall over. All right, so there's the one and then I just flip it over and then we're gonna put our glue over here, but they're so quick to put together and then fold like that. And the green tape glue makes it so easy. You could use tear tape, but tear tape, like it's not as forgiving as the, um, Green tip glue. I should call it yellow tip because <laughs> it's got the yellow cover. But the Tombow Malty lets you have a little wiggle room. All right, so let's put this together. Let me bring my geese over. So I stamped these guys ahead of time. So it doesn't take very long to color them. They're very, very quick. And I cut them out. Now, this does not have a die. I just fussy cut them out. So let me color them really, really quick. And then we'll put our card together. So I'm just using a few colors here. So our goose, geese, gooses, geeses, um, you make the calendar stand with a post note base. Yes, those are fun too. All right, so I'm just going to use light gray granite because I want my geese to be white, but white still has a color. So I'm just basically taking my gray granite and I'm just kind of going around the edges under the wings and putting just a little bit of the light gray, just so they're not naked, right? You want white to have a little bit of color, even though it's white, there's still like a shadow to white. All right, so that's fairly easy. So that was light gray granite. Then we have to put a little cheek, so just light flirty, little cheek there on our little geese. Like I said, they're super quick to color. All right, and then their feet. So the feet of the geese are fairly orange, so I'm just using pumpkin pie. Now our neighbors have a farm that you can pay and walk through and feed the animals and they have emus and donkeys and, and a pig and goats and peacocks and geese, you name it. They have everything over there. They have a lot of reptiles and I'm not a big reptile person, so I don't go near there. All right, so this is just light pumpkin. But the girl peacocks were over here the other day and it's so funny that they are just plain looking, but the boy has got that beautiful, colorful tail on him. All right. So this is just dark pumpkin, just to add a little shadow on the pumpkin. All right. Then let's do the birthday hat. So this is Tahitian. So this is one of the new in colors and I love this pretty, pretty blue. And I'm not worrying about um, doing light or dark on the hat because it's fairly small. And like I said, I cut this out ahead of time just to save some time. And then the balloon, I'm gonna do pool party. So I'm just going to go dark pool. So when I cut it out ahead of time, if you do the same thing, just make sure, because this is pretty skinny where that um, balloon is, just make sure you hold that so it doesn't bend when you're coloring. So I'm just really um, supporting that balloon so it doesn't 
you know, bend. All right, so that's all the coloring that we're going to do. So now we can put our card together. Now I chose to use, this is where I used that um, on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the farm DSP. And isn't this cute DSP? You've got the chicken wire. And then I just loved this. So it made me think of, um, you know, kind of like a fence. It could also be, um, oh, you're going on a picnic kind of thing. But so anyway, so we're going to put the, and look at the back. That's adorable. All right. So I'm just going to put the chicken wire on the top. And I find it easier to glue towards me because I can see my edges. Keep them fairly straight. All right. And then I flip it and then we'll glue this piece. But I just love this is now this DSP is actually celebration DSP. So celebration as well as the mini catalog that I've been um, chattering about start January the 5th. So this is where this DSP came from. All right. And then the geese are in the mini catalog. So let's put our cute little design together. Now, I wanted something along the edge here. So this is a die that comes from that rainy day die. And I wanted to put like a fence just so that it wasn't too plain. And then it also kind of hides that I don't have anything here. Usually if I put DSP like this, I'll put a ribbon or something like that. Um, but I don't want to have something too bulky on my calendar. So I'm just going to use the little fence. And I just picked crumb cake because this is perfect color to go with the farm stuff. So I'm just putting some little drops of green tip glue on our fence. And then I'm just going to stick them. Now I glued this one together different than the other one. So I'll show you the other one and then you can decide which, which you like better. All right. So I did two. I punched out extra, but I'm only going to do two of them. So hopefully you have something fun planned for New Year's. I doubt if we even stay up till then. The neighbors have already been letting fireworks off and we're like, it's like, I mean, days ago. And Toby hated fireworks. So it'd be like almost like the whole week. We'd be like, oh, it's okay. But now we don't have poor little Bubba. All right. So there's my two little fences. Then these also come from that um, rainy day. And I just did these in the parakeet because I also use parakeet on the little birthday hat. So I'd like to kind of um, use the same kind of colors here. And so things just aren't a bunch of jumbled colors. They make, they almost make a little bit of sense. So I'm going to take one piece of grass and we're going to put it over here. Now I could use um, dimensionals. I'm just going quick with the green tip glue. I also want to put one over here. And I'm going to put one here in between these two. Now this would be fun with the geese. You could even put, um, if you had like water looking, you know, um, DSP, and then they would be in the water. That would be super cute. All right. And I keep calling them geese because it says silly goose, but I think they could almost be ducks too. All right. And we have ducks. So I'm just telling you that, yes, they could almost, they could be a duck. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We want also, so this says a silly goose told me it's your birthday. So that's going to go up here. So before I glue it, I just want to kind of get my pieces in place. So I know I want to put my, um, what you going to call it, my calendar over here. So same thing, I'm just going to put that um, adhesive on the bottom. So we'll put our calendar over here like that. Then I want these two little fist bumping guys to go here and the birthday guy here. So I'm going to put some 
dimensionals. And then I'm also going to use these cute little um, loose daisies. And they're fun. If you do shaker cards, they're super fun. I've just been like gluing them directly to the cards. All right. So I'm just using some baby dimensionals. So my geese have a little dimension to them. All right. Oh, your neighbors light off. Yeah. And it and it's sad because I don't like fireworks. But our neighbors that have like the, the farm, they lost a couple animals last year because the fireworks gave them a heart attack. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. All right. So we have our these two little fist bumpers. So I'm going to put them kind of here like that. So I want this up here. And then this little guy going to be here. And then this one, I'm also going to put some clothing on him, or at least a tie. And then the tie I'm talking about is from the Rainy Day Die. And it's the little ties that go on the kite. All right, just make sure. I don't pay too much attention to him. I look at the balloon. Because I don't, you know what I mean? Like, as long as my balloon goes straight up and down, that's what I care about. I don't look at how he is because he's kind of, you know, he's just strutting, right? So he's kind of crooked. All right. So I'm going to take, I did um, parakeet and pool party. So these are the little ties that come with that die. And these go on the kite, but they look like little bow ties. So I'm going to put one on here. Now, I, I was going to put them on all of the geese, but... I kind of was like, that was too many ties. So, because to me, let me bring a tie over. I mean, it's up to you. It's live. So you can actually give your opinion. Usually when I tape, it's different. All right. So there is. So see, to me, that was too many ties. So these ones aren't glued. So you can let me know what you think. All right. So this one's glued. But, um. So anyway, so then I'm just going to take my, so let me know if you want me to glue those ties. If anything, I will switch because this one is against that grass and it's the same color. So that's just my anal, anality. So I would switch if I do add them because see, now you can see it better. All right. So while you're telling me if you want, see, that's what I'm thinking, Jean. I just like the one tie so that. They're not all got ties on. Um, so, because they're not glued, I just stuck them on there like that. And then these guys are just naked. All right. So then we have these cute little flowers. So all I do is I just drop a tiny little bit of glue where I want my flowers to go. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you try to remember where you put the little drop of glue and then just use your pick tool. Now, these flowers have yellowy ones and white ones. So I'm just grabbing multiple ones there and white. So we've got cute little flowers around. But what I like to do is it is a party right all right so i'm also going to put a glue dot pretty close because i kind of like when they kind of um overlap each other so but you just kind of want to push so that they can um dry really well so like I'm going faster than I would. Let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that's uneven. Very, very good. All right, so let me put this on the base and then I'll show you the other one so you can see. All right, I have pieces everywhere. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to put, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put my silly goose on. 
I forgot my greeting. You do the glue thing and then, oh yes, or you rest your hand in it. Yes, Rhonda, we are the same. Okay, so I'm gonna put my a silly goose told me it's your birthday. And this is a perfect one because you could give this to like somebody that, you know, their birthday is whatever. And then maybe you would flip through and you would circle their birthday so that when they got to their birthday month, they would go, oh, my birthday circled. All right, so I'm gonna put, backwards so I'm going to put my glue on here instead because I've got so much going on there hang on a minute I have got dimensional backings like everywhere okay so I'm putting my glue on here so if you do backwards like this just make sure you bring your glue in you don't want to put it too close to the edge all right but since I've got like all this dimension and those flowers are still drying I don't really want to flip this upside down and glue it. So I'm going to glue it this way. So then I just need to make sure I'm pretty straight there. All right. So what do you think? All right. All right. So let me show you. So I did a couple of variations. So here is, so here's this one. So see the difference? So which do you like the best? So the, the top one, I put the red on the top and the chain link or the, the chicken wire on the bottom. And then the top one, I put the chicken wire on the top and the red on the bottom. I mean, I wouldn't say no to either one if someone gave them to me. So there's those two. And then here are the other two that, you know, I did as well. But I think... They're all like, oh, you like the red on the top, Rhonda? I couldn't decide. So that's why I thought, you know what? I'm just going to flip them and then, you know. So don't forget um, that tomorrow, December the 31st, is the last day that you can get the supplies to do this one in your guts. But um, you like them both? Yay! I like them both too. And then these will fit in the slimline envelope. Hold on a second. Well, we'll get in the envelope so I can show you. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I cut it right so it would fit in here. Okay, so hold on. Because these are our slimline. So hopefully I'm not lying. Oh, I did. Oh no, it will fit, but it's it's gonna be tight. Like it will fit. Oh, let me move it up. It will fit, but it would be kind of tight. So see, it'll go in there, but it would be tight. So, so yeah, there you go. All right. But, um, so anyways, all right. So let me say, see you again, alligator. So yay. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done alive where I actually did stuff I think um I did that the those card giveaways that was live that was different but I just thought oh today I'm gonna do a live and keep it fairly short but um so anyway so if you have any questions I will look real quick I don't think I see any um honeybee liked it on the top too um Cool. So yeah, so happy new year. Be safe. If you do go anywhere, I know in Arizona, the traffic is just getting so horrible. I mean, there's been accidents and deaths and it's like, come on, people just, just take your time, you know, just, just be very careful if you do go out. And um, I hope to see you in the new year. This is always a fun time of year when you go somewhere and go see you next year. You know, so, so I will, I'm going to say that. See you next year. And I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist, three o'clock Arizona time. Oh, and then somebody emailed me that I, I had my third booster the other day. I did fine. It hardly even hurt. Even the next day I, I was like, okay, I'm ready, but I was fine. So, um, so yeah. I can't remember. Oh, the calendars, Carol, vippies.com. If you scroll up in the chat, I put it up in there, but I will also put it in the description. Okay. And they're the size medium. Um, 
I haven't looked on Etsy. I like nippies. They're really, really fast. They're inexpensive and they ship really quick. Um, so anyways, so yeah, so definitely get your booster. Um, I mean, I know that's all a, a, a preference. I'm just a germaphobe before all this happened. So um, if I can do something that will help me not get sick or help me not, you know, make other people sick, I do it. So anyways, okay, so I'm going to say see you later. Happy New Year. I'll see you next year. Have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Thanks for joining me this week. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. Oh, I have to get my mouse. Okay. <laughs> I, I try to do this like so elegantly and that's not happening. All right. Have a good weekend.